Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today we're going to make a little pair of chandelier style earrings. So, I made these um, using products from the October Bargain Bead Box, and I love these. I really like the way they turned out, and I'm, I was wanting to wear them today, and Chris and I are going to a dinner tonight. So, I need a pair, though, that has black, brown, and gray in them. Now, these kind of did match okay when I held them up to the outfit that I'm wearing, but, um, yeah, I wanted it to be a closer match. So, I really love the style of these, and I wanted to recreate this in um, an earring that I can wear tonight that will match my outfit. So, that is what we're getting ready to do. So, in order to do that, you're going to need any type of chandelier finding. Now, Lynn sent these to me, and I love them. I think they're so pretty. And so, I'm going to do, try to recreate the same um, earring here, or close to it, on this chandelier finding. So, I have the little findings here, and then I have these. Now, these were originally on these, <laughs> because I really like the way they hang. Um, they kind of, I don't know how to describe it but they kind of give it a 3d effect because this when you put your ear hang your earring on here it kind of hangs this hangs out in front of your chandelier and I like that so I took these off of this and I put other ear wires on there and I'm going to use these for this new pair that I'm doing today but you can use anything any kind of ear wires that you want and then um, I have a bunch of head pins and eye pins up here I have some chain um, and this is just a small link chain. I don't like to use huge links um, on these kind of little delicate things. Um, and then I've got some uh, silver, kind of half clear, half silver, half vitriol, I don't know, bicones, some um, filigree spacer beads, some, uh, these are four millimeter fire polish and these are three millimeter fire polish. And Beth sent me both of these. And then I have some, um, six millimeter fire polish that I bought from uh, Beads of Splendor. So all of this is what we're going to use. You're going to need your pliers. Now this is a simple, simple pair of earrings. They are not hard. Um, and so if you're an advanced beater, you're probably going to be, you know, not wanting <laughs> really cared about this video, but um, I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of cool to film. I know that there are a lot of new beaters out there and um, I figured I'm making them, I might as well film them, so that's the point. So if you, you know, if you're an advanced beater and you don't want to watch it, then just move on, <laughs> okay? All right, so um, first thing we're going to do is, if you see this earring, it's got little links here. So I've created two beaded links for each of these three, um, these three holes. Now this one has a lot more chandeliers than this one, or little, you know, drops than this one does so I'll be doing a little bit less but that's okay so the first thing I'm going to do is take a head pin and I'm going to create the bottom link and let me find one I know I've got head pins mixed in with all these eye pins yes here's one okay um so I think I'm going to do them let's do the middle one first because that's how you kind of judge the rest the length of the rest of them by how long your middle one turns out so I think on the middle one I'm going to do uh, one of these small fire polish, and I tried these out before to make sure they would fit. Thank goodness they fit. <clears throat> I was really, I was worried about that. And then I'm going to do one of the filigree spacer beads. Now these are always tricky to find the holes in. There we go. Did that easier than I thought I would. <clears throat> and then how about a sparkly bicone? That's pretty. And then I might even add another of these little fire polish on the top. Okay, so there we have a little link. So I'm going to go ahead and make my loop. You just bend it at a 90 degree angle like this. My chain nose pliers. And then you cut it. I do about my finger's width. Okay, and then you roll your loop back. On your with your chain nose pliers just like this okay and there you have a little beaded link so that's gonna go on the bottom right here so we need to make one more of those so I've got my small fire polish my filigree there we go if you hear a bunch of banging <laughs> Chris is actually building a fire 
Um, it's cold here this morning. Well, we think it's cold. I mean, it's really not cold to people that live where the, it's really cold, but people here think it's really cold. <laughs> it's like 40 degrees outside. <clears throat> but it's perfect fireplace weather, and I was home all day yesterday, and it was warmer yesterday, so we didn't build one. And I wish that I could switch the days and be home today because it's so nice when there's a fire down there in the fireplace. And oh, but I have to go to work here in a little bit. All right, so that's the bottom link of both of those. Now, this middle one, I definitely want to have um, the fire polish, the big black one in. So we're going to take an eye pin and I'm going to do this fire polish bead, the black. I think the silver would be pretty here too. I can get it on there. These little, I love these little filigree spacers. They're so pretty, but it's hard to find the holes in them sometimes. There's lots of holes in them, so I guess you could, <laughs> you know, just try to, yeah, there we go. See? Um, and then, what do I want to do now? Do I want to put one of those on top? I think I'll do another one of these. How's that look? That looks pretty. Okay. And this, I know it's neutral colors, it's not real colorful of an earring, but my outfit, like I said, is black, gray, and brown, so I don't want a whole lot of colors. Um, okay, so here's this link. So when we hook these together, they're going to hang about that long, which is really what I like. I like them a little bit long, so let me make this link for the other one and I always do my earrings I do one and then do the other just like I'm doing now and the reason I do that is it just keeps it cohesive and you don't end up your chances of missing something or doing something you know <clears throat> off on one earring are a little bit less when you do them like this I think I don't know maybe you don't have that problem but I do so I try to do one, then do the other, just so they match. Okay, same thing. We're just going to roll the loop back. And there's our second little link. Now, I know I want these two layers here to have chain. And actually, I could, if it doesn't end up looking too crowded, I could hang chain from this middle section right here, which I may actually do... Um, let's look and see. So if I did some chain, see how long I would want to make this. I want it to graduate up just slightly. So probably I'm going to cut right about here and we'll see how that does. Okay. So I need four of those. I'm just going to take a head pin or an eye pin and hang this on here. This is the easiest way to measure chain, in my opinion. Unless you just want to sit and count little links, which I don't. So I just hold it up and cut it. You can see right where you need to cut. And my Zeron cutters here are not doing the best lately. They're getting kind of dull, I think. I don't know if, they, uh, if you can sharpen them. I don't know. So we're going to need four pieces of this chain. And if you get it one long, because I did actually right there, it looks like I did. Just trim it up. There we go. That's better. Okay. And one more. Okay. So there's our four pieces of chain. So these are going to go on either side of the main middle link. So now I need to make a little bit shorter link and I'm going to take a head pin again. If I can find one. I may have to pull out some more. Okay, here we go. Um, now this is a thicker head pin so I know it's going to not going to fit. I want to, I mean, one of these little fire polish won't fit. I'm, I want to bring the black down here. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's do, let me see if the little fire polish will fit on these. No, I don't think they will. It's, these should though. Yeah. So we'll do that one, this one. 
Oh no, that one's not even going to go down all the way. Okay. Have to find a thinner one. Here's one. Okay. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this one. The black. And there's no silver over here on this side, so let's do some silver. And these, you, they're going to need to be a little bit shorter because you don't want them to hang down as long. So don't put as many beads on. I'm just putting three beads on this one. It'll be a little shorter. And that's what you want. Okay, and then just roll the loop back. Just like that. And it's going to hang here. Now I need one more. I need an eye pin for this one. And, no, I need a head pin. I need to do my other side. Okay, so here we have fire polish, bigger fire polish, and filigree bead. And actually, I have to make um, four of these because I want them to be on either side. Okay, there's that guy, so he'll hang it, he'll be over here, and then I need to make two for this one. And I like the way um, that the little links, when you make little links like this, I like the way that they flow in your earring, like they... Um, in these chandelier style earrings they look really pretty they just dangle or flow really nicely hang really nicely and um, they have a lot of movement and they're just really pretty see like this one see how it just has a lot of movement and i like that okay one more so chris and i planted some bamboo last night <laughs> We have a pool, we put up a pool, let me say that, um, this fall, and we needed a privacy something or other, and so we were kind of looking around, and um, we'd seen where you could plant bamboo, and it makes a good privacy screen, so we did not even know, it's kind of funny, because we were just talking about this, this is how, like, this is how good God is, he always provides, so we we're talking about it, and we're like, yeah, we need to get some bamboo, and it's going to take a few years to grow and get tall enough. Okay, so hold on. I'll tell you that. Rest of that in a minute. We're going to do another link here. And we need an eye pin for it. And I want to incorporate this bicone now up here in this top. Do I have enough? One, two. Yeah, okay. Um, so I think I'll do this little guy. The bicone. And this little guy again. Up here. Is that going to be enough? beads. No, I probably need to add, because it's going to graduate up a little. Yeah, I probably need to add one more bead. So let's do this little bead. We'll do the silver bead. Got to try to get those in there straight and not crooked, because you can use any of these little holes, but you just have to find <laughs> One that will lead all the way straight through to another one. Really should put my glasses on. There we go. That's better. Okay, and then we'll do the spike cone. And then probably this little bead, and that'll be enough. I'm hoping. I do have some Jet AB bicones over here that I could bring in, but I don't think I'm going to add in another bead now. It would be. Okay, so let's do this. So anyway, um, bamboo. So everybody's like, no, don't plant it in the ground. It's invasive. It's horrible. You'll never get rid of it. Um, and so we knew we wanted to plant it in planters. So we had these big containers, raised garden beds that Chris had made last summer for our um, garden that we had our garden in. So we knew we could use those. And so we just needed to figure out, like, the type of bamboo to get. And because, you know, they say, like, the zone that you live in, you have to find the right type for the climate. And 
it sounded very complex and I'm like I don't know um and then I'd never seen I mean I don't know that they even sell it like I'd seen little ones in Lowe's but I don't know we needed like big tall and so anyway this truck pulls up across the street yesterday and I'm just kind of looking you know out the window or just I just saw it Sadie barks at everybody and um so, and I'm always expecting something in the mail from some place or another. So I was looking out the window and this guy gets out, goes in the backyard across the street and comes out with like all these huge stalks of bamboo. And when I say huge, I mean like 40 and 50 feet tall. They were enormous. They're taller than our house. And so, um, I go outside and I'm like to Chris, Hey, <laughs> that guy over there is cutting bamboo out of Elaine's yard, like the backyard. I didn't even know she had bamboo back there. You can't see in her backyard from the front. And I said, go ask him if we can have some of it. So I don't even know if you can like take it and replant it. I mean, everybody talks about how hard it is to kill. So <laughs> I thought it's worth a try. So Chris goes and you know, he asked the guy, he said, hey, you know, can we have some of it if you're just going to throw it away or whatever? And the guy's like, yeah, whatever. He didn't want it. And so we got all this bamboo, like six, seven huge, huge stalks of bamboo. I mean, it is so tall that it's, it's as tall as our house. And we went to Lowe's and got dirt and filled those planter boxes up and put it in there. And so I'm hoping that it will grow some of it still had roots on it and some of it didn't but we have some in our living room that just lives in water so <laughs> i don't know i'm not a very i don't have a very good green thumb really but um i thought hey you know it's worth a try and so now we have this big tall bamboo out in our yard and um, it makes a great great privacy screen and it's in planters so it won't like you know grow and take over because everybody was warning me about that all right, so that's my story. That's what we did last night. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. Now, I do not know. So I'm going to go ahead and start and hang these on here because I do need to see. Let me scoot this one over. I do need to see if the chain is going to work hanging on those little, these little things or if it's going to be too crowded. So I don't want it to be too crowded. Let me grab my glasses because I can't see a thing. Okay. All right, now I'm going to hang it directly on to the finding. I'm not going to use jump rings or anything. So the first one is this big one. This goes in the middle. I'm just going to hang them right on and there's really no uh, worry. You don't have to worry about them being hanging facing certain ways because they're just all the same. I mean it's not gonna, there's no front or back really just to your earring, just to your finding there is all. All right I'm going to hang this one in here. Loop them right together. Make sure your loops are closed up really good so you don't have a piece fall off while you're at dinner. Okay, and there is the first one. Now I'm going to see if this chain will hang right on that middle spot or if it's going to be too crowded. And if it's too crowded, I'll just, I won't, you know, I just won't do it, but I'll give it a try. Grab my other pliers here. And this chain just opens right up and I'm going to hang it right on to the the piece here. If I can get it in there, that might be an issue. And if you, uh, I do have a lot of different chandelier findings on my website if you're interested in checking those out. I have fire polish beads too. Chandeliers, fire polish beads. I do have um, silver spacers, four millimeter ones. Um, so a lot of this stuff, if you need to buy it, yeah, that's going to be too crowded. I don't like that at all. So we're going to take that back off <laughs> and just move it over to the next little spot. I don't want it to look crowded. There we go. And just close it back up. I know I'm having issues with that this morning, but there we go. 
All right, now, this is definitely too long, but I, the, the chain is, but I'm going to wait until I get the rest of these hung on here. So I'm going to hang my other piece of chain on the other side of that big link. Okay, we're going to go right here with this one. Yeah, that looks much better. It's just, it's not near as crowded. Okay, now we're going to put these on. So let's do this guy first with our big bicone. And hook this guy to it. I thought that filigree bead on there crooked, but it'll be okay. I don't think it'll be real noticeable. If it is, I'll just make another link <laughs> there. Okay, and then the other side. And again, I know these aren't super colorful or anything, but my outfit is not super colorful. <laughs> it's just kind of neutral tones, so I really wanted to wear it tonight because it's one thing that um, I can wear that I feel doesn't make me look too fat. <laughs> so, we're going with it. And like I said, it's cold. So, it's like uh, I can wear boots with it. Alright, so here we have it. Ooh, I like it. I mean, it is very sparkly and pretty. Okay, so I do need to cut this chain, though. I don't want it to hang down quite that far. I want it to kind of have a graduated up little look. So I'm just going to cut one at first, one little link, and see if that looks better or if I need to cut two. Okay, so there's one. Mm, I don't know. It kind of looks good there, like that. I might just leave it for a minute and see. Okay, and then we're just going to hang it on our ear wire over here. So we just take this and it goes right on the, I'm going to make sure I get it facing forward goes right on the little kidney there and look at it it's really pretty I think um, I'm tempted to hang or to put a couple crystals on here and I may do that I may glue a few crystals across the middle here so we'll look in a minute and see um, actually let me go grab some and see okay so I pulled out a couple crystals so I pulled out um, black diamond which is this color and light Colorado topaz, which is kind of a brownish, and then a couple of small flatbacks in jet. So I'm going to glue these on. And we'll see how it looks. Got glue on the end of my little thing here. And I can't find my little thing that's got the beeswax on it that I usually pick up my crystals with. Oh, wait, here it is. Okay. I did find it. There it is. All right. So, get a little glue out, fresh glue out of here. I use E6000 for gluing these on. Okay. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it in this little hole here. It's pointed back. So, I'm just going to string a little glue across there. And I think I'm going to do the golden shadow one. No, the black diamond one first. I'm just going to stick it right there. Then we will go golden shadow right here. And it does not take a whole lot of glue for these. I mean, they're just, it just takes a little bit to hold them in. Did I call that golden shadow? It's like Colorado topaz. I'm sorry. And I, I, the reason I got that one out is because my outfit does have brown. Like, I mean, it's got, um, like regular brown in it and I noticed in my beads down here I didn't really have any just plain brown like tan brown I had a lot of um, I had a lot of golds in my um, beads so I couldn't really find any just brown that I felt like would look really good um, so I used a lot of the goldens but I did want to try to pull up a little bit of this kind of and color and I think the light Colorado does a good job of that so there we have those I've got fuzz from my thing just make sure they're sitting flat 
And then I'm going to put my jet one right here in the middle. Just right there. Yeah, I like that. I think that adds a lot to it. Just add some sparkle. So there we have it. And I could even stick a crystal up there, even though that's got a little crystal. But I think they look really good. I think I am going to trim one more link off this bottom, off this chain. It needs one more link taken off. Okay. And there it is. So I think these are going to be really pretty. Um, I think they'll look good with my outfit tonight. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll put the other pair together, or the other one together. You don't have to sit and watch me do it all over again. But if you did enjoy the video, like it and subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss upcoming videos. And I will link my um, website in the description box below where you can find similar items to these if you're interested. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.